Hey guys, so welcome to my week 8 and week 9 update. Um, I know I'm not in my usual like baby room and stuff. I'm just super tired, super wore out, and I decided to just sit on my bed for this one. Um, as you can tell, I'm probably holding my phone, and I'm recording it on my phone just because it's more easier for me to do this right now. Um, these past two weeks have been very, very stressful and very overwhelming and tiring, and I am, I've just been so tired and exhausted and yeah, a lot, just my body has taken a hit from pregnancy right now. Like, it's seriously gotten really real to me and things are just, my symptoms are coming at me like crazy right now. Okay, so getting started, week eight was not, was like nausea, but to the point where it was just like, I felt nauseous at times and then it was, you know, either really bad come evening or really bad come morning or like afternoon. Like there wasn't like any specific time that it just came. I kind of just have all day sickness at this rate. Um, I haven't, week eight I did not throw up at all and I did not get sick at all. I just felt like, like really bad like crap <laughs> um i've been extremely tired and my back has been hurting like crazy like i feel like i've gotten hit by a bus like i don't know i've had to like ask my husband to just rub my back for like 10 minutes at night when he's home and it like helps so much and i've been getting headaches um week eight um I was eight weeks and two days, and we finally had our ultrasound and went to the doctor for the first time, so that was really awesome, and not a whole lot happened at that appointment. Basically, they just took my weight and my um, checked like my blood pressure and stuff and things like that, and then, yeah, I had already gained about three two and a half three pounds already and that literally like I can just tell you right now has probably been in my bra size <laughs> because those things have just they've been hurting and they have definitely like not been fitting in my usual bras which I actually had to move up and go buy a bigger one now so that's pretty crazy um I didn't expect that to happen so fast but it did. Um, I really can't um, do much, really. Like, I have been pretty much on the couch for most of the days just because I feel awful. And I don't work, so I'm at home. And usually I just do the regular cleaning and cooking and stuff. And even cooking has just been, like, a huge, huge task for me because smelling things while they cook or just thinking about meat or like cooking it and it's just been really bad so my stomach's been pretty weak and I've been eating like soup or like toast with butter or just like plain egg whites and that has helped a lot like to fill me up but when it comes to water that's just like it's not happening like I have to had have to find other fluids for me to drink to stay hydrated lately because it is just when it goes down it's awful like I just feel even worse um at the first ultrasound the baby's heartbeat was 179 beats per minute and that was really cool we got to hear the heartbeat and that was just it was this crazy feeling like I didn't cry but I was just so stunned that, like, we're in this moment. Like, this is happening right now. So that was, it was just really crazy and um, real unrealistic. Like, I can't even explain what that was like. Because I've been waiting to be a mom my whole entire life. And now we're in this moment. And it just, like, I don't know. It's so surreal and... 
you know, me and my husband were giggling the whole time, like, laughing, and I'm sure it sounds immature, but, like, it was so funny because we watched the movie Knocked Up, like, all the time because it's my favorite or what to expect when expecting because I am in love with those movies. So, <laughs> we've, like, memorized every scene, but when the doc when the nurse pulled me in told me that we could um move off to the ultrasound room she came in and like I did a, a little bit of paperwork on my family history and everything and then um she's like oh it'll be an inner uterine um ultrasound and I like started like I was like oh, okay sounds good but like when she left like I saw like what they put in like the ultrasound thing that goes in there the inner uterine um ultrasound thing and we were just like laughing because i we right away thought of knocked up when she goes in for her first like exam to find out she's pregnant and i don't know it was just funny because <laughs> it's just what it reminded me of um but yeah that was really really cool and um Actually, like, I was right on track when they measured, like, measured how big the baby was. And it was, I was actually eight weeks and three days when we went. So that was really cool. Because, so, I was actually, one day I had them what my app said. But it was, like, it wasn't even that far off. off so I was so excited. Because I was, like, I feel like I may be ahead a little, like, odd number of days. Or I'm, like, right on track. Like, I don't feel like I'm like, anywhere behind, like, because of what was going on with my body and stuff. Um, yeah, I haven't been having any nightmares since the past couple weeks, but I really hope that doesn't happen, because as soon as I said that last time, that night I had a nightmare, and that was not cool. But, um, yeah. So, I've been sleeping better and literally I can smell everything from like a mile away like my husband chews Copenhagen chew and it's the winter green one and it is so strong and I just I can't do it I had to sit clear across the couch on the other side while he's doing that or in the car he really has to like have a brand new like spitting bottle I cannot handle like him using the same bottle from the other day that just like grosses me out so bad that is just nasty I like constantly am on him for like throwing out the bottle and getting a new one like that's just my thing like do it but do it in a cleanly way like that's just that's just how I I can handle it um I definitely have seen like just myself just a little bit different of a difference in my belly like uh in pictures it doesn't really show it pretty much looks like I ate too many cheeseburgers at McDonald's so yeah um but I can see like on the lower half of my body like right on my waistline like I can just see the little kind of like curve almost but nothing crazy like I said like it's not this like crazy baby bump right now of course it wouldn't be but, um, yeah, my patience and, like, I've been super irritable and super, like, I can get angry in, like, two seconds about something, like, anything. And it's been really hard for me to, going on to week nine, it's been really hard for me to just sit on the couch and do nothing because I, I constantly just have myself doing things all day long. I do the laundry, clean the house you know, play with the dog, take the dog out, play with him, and then come back in and continue on with my daily tasks. And literally just resting all day or sitting there doing nothing, like, that was fun for, like, the first three days. But now I'm just like, no, I cannot sit here all day. Like, I need to be doing something. But then I just feel absolutely terrible. Um, Week nine hit me and literally... I was hit by the worst nausea I've ever felt since getting pregnant and nausea started, which was like week six-ish. I started feeling kind of weird. But now, um, when week nine hit, I was completely just, um, 
I don't know. It was crazy how bad it was because I woke up and I just immediately had to run to the bathroom. And it was like I was dry heaving and gagging and nothing was coming up. And I'm like, why? Like, I was so scared to throw up in the beginning, but then it just got to the point where I'm like, okay, stomach, if you're going to make me gag and make me feel like this, then just get it over with and like, I wanted to throw up, like, I wanted to make myself throw up, and then after a couple times of telling my husband, hey, I'm really struggling, like, this is really bothering me, like, I don't know what to do, how do I fix this, how do I handle, like, feeling this way, and it not, like, not being able to throw up, and he's like, well, he's like, if you really want to get it over with, and just, you know, maybe try it once and see how it goes, But if you really feel that bad and feel like you're able to throw up if you try, I just stuck my finger in my mouth and there it was. And that day after I threw up, I felt like a million dollars. Like I was like, I feel almost normal. Like I was cleaning, I was doing dishes. I was like, oh gosh, I'm going to run downstairs and do this and do that and I was outside in the yard picking up after the dog, and I was just like, oh, right. Like, I feel great. And then all all of a sudden, I ate dinner, and that was really good. And um, anything too spicy or too flavorful, like, if you season, like, I tried to eat seasoned chicken when nausea really started hitting me. Um, at the beginning of week nine, and that was a no-no. That was, like, awful. My stomach totally flip-flopped on me, and that was it. Like, that was the start of the week. That was just completely dreadful. I was not eating barely anything. I could only get down, like, unseasoned frozen veggies that I would boil in the microwave or, um on the stove with some rice and then I would just bake a plain baked potato with like two tablespoons of butter and that would be all I would eat um come dinner time and at night crackers did absolutely nothing for me I felt like I don't know I just felt they they were a waste of time so I would just eat dry rice krispies like when I could um plain water that Oh my gosh, going down felt like a rock. Like, it would hit my stomach, and it would be, like, this just cold feeling, and it would make me start gagging even worse, and I couldn't even drink water. Like, it was just not happening for me. So, thank gosh I had ginger ale, and then my husband could run to the store and get me some Gatorade. So, um, since the beginning of the week this week was so bad, and... I'm at the last day and a half, and I feel way better. I can eat. I Today I can do regular activities, like, you know, clean the house and everything. And um, yesterday felt like a dream. Like, I just felt so much better, and I don't really know if it was because, you know, my nausea was a lot lighter, and it was only in the mornings. But I, if I rushed and, like, ate a banana and, like, a muffin or something, like, that was so fine. And it helped a lot. But if I don't eat, that's when I notice that it is awful and I'm probably going to be sorry. So, yeah, I've been drinking a lot of ginger ale. I haven't had any caffeine besides, like, a McDonald's iced vanilla coffee, like, once in a blue moon. Like, I've only had it twice. And those are, like, heaven sent when you drink them because I was a coffee fanatic and I love my dark roast coffee and my vanilla creamer. And I was just, like, the darker, the richer, the better. Like, that's what I loved every morning. It was the best part of my day. So, being with all that has been, like, so weird, and I've had to get used to it. But it hasn't been something I'm like, oh my gosh, like, this sucks. No, I'm just, like, disappointed that I bought two huge creamers, and now they're, like, wasting away in the fridge. So, I wasn't able to drink my pumpkin spice creamer, and I wasn't able to drink my French vanilla creamer. But I am starting, um, 
to really love hot chocolate. Like, I really had a taste for hot chocolate. So that's been my thing. And it's a lot healthier than drinking, I'm sure, caffeine. So instead of drinking just that one five-ounce cup a day, I, um, if I feel like having coffee, then maybe I'll make some hot chocolate. But other than that, um, my hair is growing pretty fast. Um, I know you guys can see my roots right now. I had it bleached on my birthday, which was um, a little over a month ago. It was October, the first week of October, the 5th. And I had my hair, you know, done a couple days before that. And it's actually, it seems like blonder. I don't know. I haven't been using my purple shampoo, but... It looks, it just looks healthier and feels softer and I'm going to tell you right now, like these past two weeks, the shower, like showering, like during the week, like <laughs> I used to be the girl who could never go without a shower. Like I had to have one once or twice a day, you know, depending on like how I felt like I could not, not have a shower and let me tell you, like, when you feel so awful that you don't want to move because you feel so sick, the shower is, like, the last thing you want to do. Like, it's the last place you want to be. The steam makes me nauseous. Just the vibration of, like, the water on my back or, like, my stomach makes me nauseous. Like, going in the shower is dreadful. So, I shower every other day, like, my hair and stuff. Like, I'll do my body, but I don't waste time on my hair. Sometimes my hair goes, like, two or three days, like, three-day hair. And some people think that's gross, but at this point, I'm, like, I'm not going anywhere. My husband doesn't care. He wants me to do whatever is more comfortable and whatever works for me because he knows that I've been having a really rough time these past two weeks, so that's what I've been doing. And I think my hair has gotten a lot better just from not washing it so often. So thank you for that. Um, let's see. I've been sleeping way longer and I'm able to take naps during the day. And my skin is awesome. Like, I have a light covering of foundation on just because, like, I don't know. I'm one of those people that has to have foundation on all the time. But my skin has been awesome, and I have, like, some breakouts right here, but that's just because I've been, like, bothering it. But other than that, everything has been amazing. Like, my skin is the best it's been in my entire life. Like, I've always struggled with severe acne and, you know, getting rid of it, and it's always been really hard for me to, um, like, control. So I've been using... Cetaphil um sensitive um skin wash and it's the um with the purple lid or pump on it so I use that foaming wash um this week I did do some grocery shopping and I was at Target and I saw they had Christmas um baby pajamas online and I was like I need to get some of those so I will show you guys um what I bought um, we don't know what we're having yet. We'll know probably around Christmas time or early next year. Um, so I'll let you guys know about that, but we'll do a whole gender role reveal thing. But I did buy a blue, um, reindeer onesie and it is just adorable. Oh my gosh. They're PJs and it says, just like daddy. And this is in a six month. So... The baby will wear this next year and it will be just perfect timing and it's so cute and I will put it on a boy or a girl. I don't really care. Like, I just absolutely love this button snap print in the reindeers and I just love little Christmas pajamas and I did get a second one and this is was my favorite when I first saw it. It's a fleece zip up, um, little like cozy, warm onesie and it is so cute like the trees and the little Santas and oh my gosh it's so cute and it says Santa's favorite and I just I had to have it so it's a little fleece zip up and then on the footy they're footy pajamas so they have little Santa Claus and it's so cute 
Oh my gosh. I like, I don't know. I'm so in love with these and I cannot wait to dress our baby in the, like, it's so cute. Actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's not a zip up there. It's a button up. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm talking about these days. Yeah, it's a button up. I'm so retarded. Um, but yeah, the feet are Santa's and, um, the other pajamas do have little feet on them, but they're just the regular print on the, um, pajamas. They're just nothing, like, no little fun heads on it. But yeah, so, like I said, these past two weeks have been pretty rough, but I'm really enjoying this last part of the week. And everything's going pretty good. Um, baby is perfectly healthy and we're on track. And our next appointment is in the next four weeks. And I'm super excited and I can't wait to update you guys on the next one. Alright, talk to you soon.